Hey guys, what's going on? It's Greg with Full Court Nerd, and this is part four of the uh, PlayStation 4 upgrade uh, for the hard drive. So if you've come this far, you've already got a new hard drive in there, and this PlayStation 4, it's basically, there's nothing going on with it. So um, what you're going to want to do is make sure that uh, what you're going to need basically is to have your uh, firmware, and again, the, the two to 300 megabyte one, that's not going to cut it. You need one that's closer to 800 megabytes. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So remember, your PlayStation is kind of, you gave it a lobotomy, right? So it's not going to really remember exactly what's going on. So uh, on your PlayStation 4, you're going to want to hold down the power button until you hear two beeps, because that's going to get it into safe mode, which is what you need. So there's the first beep. I don't know if the microphone picked up on it, but we'll see. And then there was a second beep. So what you are going to see on the screen is uh, basically just uh, the PlayStation coming into uh, like its safe mode there. Here we are at the safe mode. Now the guy from Sony said, hey, go up to update system software, which doesn't make any sense, like I said, because there's no software to update. So we're going to go ahead and go down to number seven. Okay, so again, I'm down at number seven. I just put my flash drive in there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit there, hit OK. Now it's saying, please wait. All right, so we're, we got update system software, update from USB storage device. Okay, now I'm going to hit OK. Heavy ammo on the way. All right, guys, so here it is. Sorry, I didn't know what happened exactly from the last one. I guess I was just having some problems. Um, but let's go ahead and check out settings. Go to system storage management just to show you that I do have 1.77 terabyte hard drive in there. Obviously, the software takes up a little bit of that. So what you're going to want to do, though, is to get your firmware on there, to get all your saved data and everything, not your firmware, sorry about that, is go down to save data on USB storage and then copy to system storage, okay? And I'm gonna show you two different things. So here we've got NHL, and I've, I have the disk in, I've installed it and everything like that. Select all and copy. Now it's giving me an overwrite because I've already done it, but trust me, it's, it's going to, let's hit apply all so you can see it. So it's gonna copy everything over from the, uh, from the flash drive. So that's all on there. Now, if you don't have a game anymore, for example, I don't have MLB The Show anymore, okay? So if I go to copy that, it's going to give me this error message saying basically, hey, this game doesn't really exist on your PlayStation, whatever. So if if you get up to that issue and you don't have it, just go to like GameStop, get a used copy of the game, install it, and then just return it or something like that. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. And... That way I can continue MLB 15 the show. So that's what I've done. Let me know what you've done to your PlayStation, any customization or anything like that. Get me in the comments or at Full Court Nerd on Twitter. See you on the green. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us over at Facebook.com slash Full Court Nerd or on Twitter at Full Court Nerd.